Hi, welcome to Brionis Pickleball. My name is Jordan Brionis, and in today's video, we're going to go over the five most deceptive shots that you could hit out on the court. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. In this video, we're going to go over the five most deceptive shots that you could hit out on the court so that when you hit them, your opponent has no idea what you're gonna hit and you can surprise them and win the point. Just a little disclaimer here, these are definitely advanced shots and you don't wanna hit them all the time, but when used at the right time and executed well, you could win the point outright. All right, so now let's jump into the first shot and that is the wind up dink or the wind up lob. Now there's two different variations that I like to do and I'm gonna show you both of them. All right, so real quickly, this is when you get more of a dead dink and what is a dead dink? It's a dink that sits up kind of in the middle of the non-volley zone and bounces and it just sits up high, it doesn't have a lot of spin and you can really do anything you want with that ball. So a dead dink is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a ball like this and then I'm going to take a big wind up like I'm going to get ready to speed up the ball or drive it. And then instead of driving it, I'm gonna slow it down last minute and I'm gonna dink it. I'm gonna hit like a top spin roll. And I like to do it kind of in that corner there towards that sideline, okay? So it's gonna look a little bit like this. All right, so obviously here we're looking for an exact ball or an ideal ball that we're going to want to hit the shot on. And my first move, okay, is I'm going to step in and I'm going to bring my paddle up, up here like I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna get a big backswing, big take back, and then I'm acting like I'm going to hit it really hard or drive it, even though I know that I'm just gonna dink it. And again, I'm coming here and this is a topspin shot and it's just a topspin dink. So I'm slowing my swing down last minute and all I'm doing is just rolling it to the left or to the right. This is really effective because, you know, when the ball kind of sits up, um, good players will brace themselves, right? They're going to think that they are going to get a really fast ball. So when they get ready for that ball and then it rolls here, a lot of times they're laid on it or you know they're stretched out and they pop it up or miss it into the net. All right, so one way to practice this is you can have a partner feed you kind of a dead dink. So she's gonna feed it right here and then I'm gonna do a big swing and then roll it, okay? And then she's just gonna try to defend. Go ahead. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, again. Okay, good, okay. Okay. All right, obviously, the bigger the swing, the bigger the rotation, you're trying to sell it, right? <laughs> this is a kind of a fake shot, and then you roll it to either the forehand or the backhand. All right, so there's kind of a second variation to this, and this one I kind of developed just by just messing around, but I've hit it a good amount of times, and it's just a lot of fun when I do it. So. The same setup, remember, you are trying to force them to hit a high dead dink here. So instead of me rolling it, okay, again, when I have this big take back and back swing, they're bracing and getting ready here for a drive. They have their feet solid in the ground and they're getting ready for a drive. So one thing that I like to do is a big wind up to a lob, okay? And it doesn't even have to be the greatest lob. It just has to be high over their head. I'm not trying to hit a winner. I'm just trying to get them to think that I'm going to drive it and then I lob it over their head. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Okay. 
Okay, one more time. There we go. Okay, last one here. All right, so again, it's about selling it, right? I have a big wind up. I look like I'm gonna hit it really hard. And then last minute, I slow my swing down. And this time, instead of rolling it, I have my paddle face open and then I lift it up and over her head, okay? This one's actually a lot harder and um, it takes a lot of practice. But, you know, as you're adding new tools to your toolbox, this is just something to get you thinking and at least get you thinking how high level players think, okay? So we're trying to do things that are going to surprise their opponent or catch them off guard. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the deceptive shot number two and that is the off the bounce forehand flick. So again, I'm looking for kind of a dead dink that six sits up here, okay? So the off the bounce flick I'm talking about is going to look like this. So it's going to look like I'm just going to dink it but instead, I'm just gonna give it a little flick with my wrist, okay? Now, there's a lot of times where I see players use their wrist in different situations, and that's very inconsistent, but this is one of the shots, right? Um, at an advanced level that you can use your wrist to flick it right at them. And where I would suggest to aim um, it's kind of away from their body. You don't want to go right at them. Now that can still catch people off guard, but if you can get it off to the right, their right side if they're a right-handed player or their dominant side. And key tip is always be ready for the cleanup. So I'm gonna flick, then be ready for the counter or their pop-up. All right, so here we go. Sorry, babe. Sorry. So, okay. All right. So again, it could be a dangerous shot, but high-level players, you better be expecting it. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's the off-the-bounce forehand flick. Now this is really hard to read and the key here is setting up the same exact way how you hit your game. So what I tell players when they're trying to disguise the shot is try to keep in mind how you are dinking or how you're hitting your previous shot. So what I'm trying to do is hit the same exact shot with the same motion and then what am I going to do in the last minute? I'm going to accelerate and use my wrist to kind of flick it over. All right, so now let's go into the third really deceptive shot that I love to hit, and it is my favorite, and it is the misdirection volley. All right, so for the misdirection volley, the ball that you are looking for is a cross-court ball, a cross-court dink that you can kind of take out of the air right here. Now, um, I really like this shot because it's a fun one to hit, and you are going to be attacking the person right down the line from you. So it's called misdirection because the direction is coming from cross court right now. Let's say I'm on the odd side, which I am right now, and I'm getting a ball from the odd side, like we're cross court dinking here. And then instead of going back cross court, I'm going to slightly turn my paddle face and open it up down the line. And I have all my momentum and my weight and my paddle going, kind of selling that cross court shot. So. We'll show you a few here. All right, so that was a misdirection volley. You can hit that both on the backhand and the forehand side and again this is a really good shot one of my favorite shots to hit because it's just really fun and i like you know really trying to disguise and sell my shot cross court all right so again anytime you're doing kind of more 
of um, a disguise, deception, or risky or shot, kind of like these. Anytime you do it, just be ready, right? Because players might have seen it before or you might have not put it in a great spot. So every time you go for this shot, make sure you're ready to counter. All right, so now let's jump into the fourth really deceptive shot. I really love this one. In this scenario, I am at the non-volley zone line with my partner and let's say my opponents are back at the baseline so when they are hitting their third shot drop either they're doing that or they're kind of on the defense right so they could be scrambling and then they hit kind of this high third shot right it's bouncing high kind of short into the non-volley zone i'm gonna you know a lot of players will come here and what do we try to do we try to we got to keep it deep right and which you should um, and push it back to their feet with topspin. But instead of that, in this one, I'm gonna sell the big wind up, just like the first two, and then I'm just gonna dink it right over here. And usually what happens is one of two things. If you execute it really well, you have them full force sprinting, okay, on the run, right? You have them coming over here, then I have it easy put away in the middle or um, cross court or you just have outright winner because they're on, you know, they're leaning back on the backs of their um, heels, all right? So this is what it's gonna look like. Katrina is going to hit some kind of high third shot drops and I'm gonna, you know, act like I'm gonna hit it really hard and drive it and then just roll it, little top spin roll dink towards the sideline. All right, so like I said, this is a very effective shot, especially when you have them on the defense, okay, and your opponents are back at the baseline scrambling or leaning back, and you're getting a ball that bounces up and sits up here. So normally, players would drive it as they normally should, keep it back with topspin, but then in this case here, I'm gonna do a big backswing, sell that really fast shot deep shot with tossman and then slow it down and then just curl it right over here all right so now let's jump into the fifth and final really deceptive shot that i love to do and when done at the right time it usually is an outright winner okay again you have them leaning back okay so this is one where i'm going to take an overhead or it's going to look like i'm going to take an overhead and then at the last second i'm just gonna hit a little dink into the non-volley zone again usually it's an outright winner because they're leaning back and if they do happen to get it they're running like full force in and i'm ready here to clean that ball up All right, so like I said, this is a really great shot and it works almost every time as long as your opponents are leaning back, okay? They're behind the baseline and you can execute the drop efficiently, okay? So just to kind of show you what I do, I set up for a big overhead here, okay? And you just really gotta just get your paddle on your hand up like you're gonna hit it really hard. And then I see the ball and then last second, I'm going to try to just open it up to here, okay? And from this position, I'm gonna just try to softly dink it into the non-volley zone. All right, before we close this video, we're gonna go over the bonus deceptive shot. Yes, this is an additional one. I'm giving it to you for free here, and it is the Ernie drop, okay? Now this is probably my second favorite shot behind the misdirection shot, and this is the one where you know, you come outside here or you jump over it. And instead of hitting an Ernie really hard, I'm gonna hit a drop shot. Remember, this is kind of like the same thing, but you have them on the heels, you have their weight leaning back, and I jump the kitchen and then hit a drop. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. All right, so like I said, that's a bonus one for you for free. That's one of my favorite shots. So again, these are advanced shots. If you're a beginner, I probably wouldn't encourage you to go out there and try these all. But what this hopefully shows you is that it's all about deception and disguise when you are raising up in levels, okay? You always want your opponent thinking, and if you can hit certain shots in certain scenarios at select times, and you can execute it really well and make them think you're hitting one thing, but you're hitting something else, you can get some easy points and hopefully that can build up to you eventually winning the match. All right, so again, thanks so much for watching us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. For a free pickleball workout routine that is guaranteed to level up your game, head on to brionispickleball.com forward slash workout. Before you head on over there, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have this feeling, feeling. Haven't felt for so long.